Hello, my name is Tom Brinson, I'm a certified master mechanic from Reading, Pennsylvania. Today we're going to talk about how to know when to replace a fan thermostat. Um, just for clarity, uh, there is no fan thermostat. Um, there's either a thermostat that controls the flow of coolant through the engine, or there's a thermostat that will, I mean, a, a coolant sensor that will turn on an electric fan, um, but no fan thermostat. If you need to replace your, your thermostat, it's usually in the thermostat, right behind the thermostat housing, couple bolts, two, three hoses, not real hard to change. As you're, if you have an electric fan, um, it's computer controlled, it works off of a sensor, usually close to the thermostat housing, or it's usually on the side of the radiator. You'll have to check a repair manual to see where the location is. Um, uh, a competent parts store locally will be able to tell you what it looks like, show it to you. They might even tell you where it is. Um, this particular vehicle, the fan thermostat, the <laughs> fan thermostat, the, the, the fan sensor, the temperature sensor is right here in the thermostat housing. Um, we'll get a shot at it here in a second. Real easy to change. You need a three-quarter socket and a ratchet extension. Disconnect your, your connector on it. Pull it right out. Uh, you might want to relieve the pressure in your radiator cap right here first. Make sure the engine is not hot before you start this process. Pull it out. Take your new one, screw it right back in, put your connector back on, fill it back up with coolant, run it to about 195 degrees, about 210 degrees. If it's an electric fan, it will turn on. Under that, um, it won't turn on to that point, but just make sure you keep your hands away from the fan. Uh, you don't want to sit in there and try and turn it thinking it doesn't work because it, it turns on on its own, and <laughs> that could cause a bad day. Um, the other fans you have, you have a clutch fan that's, that's also a spring. When it heats up, it, it expands, locks that fan in, starts turning it. So again, don't put your, if you have a clutch fan, don't put your hands in there because you don't know when it's going to start turning. Um, it will free spin for a while until it gets up to temperature and it locks, and then, and then that'll start working. But other than that, it, it's, it's real simple. You have either or. You have a manual fan or an electric fan. Electric fan it has a, a temperature sensor, works electronically through the computer. The thermostat is in this housing, real simple to change.